So we just left off with creating the title block. We made a template, so even if uh, you didn't just finish creating this, you should at least have a template file saved that would have this on it. We're going to go back into our model space, and we're going to start to draw out our Geneva cam design by switching to our construction layer. So make sure this is your active layer if you do not have it already set. And let's go to our construction lines. We're going to make our first construction line at 5, comma, 4.5, and hit enter. Let's make a horizontal line and a vertical line. And we also want an angle of 30 degrees from the horizon. Uh, we're going to make a series of circles, all, all starting from the center point. First one's going to have a radius of 0.75. We will have another one with a radius of 1.25. A third circle with a radius of 2. A fourth one with a radius of 4. And a last final circle with a radius of 4.5. That'll be it for the construction circles. We're now going to make a another circle using an object line instead. We're going to go for the intersection of our horizontal line and our four and a half inch circle. And we're going to make it a radius of 1.5. We're also going to make a circle. Oh, I better turn off my snap points. at this intersection of our 2 inch radius circle and our 30 degree angle line and make that a radius of 0.25. So we have a couple of circles here. Um, and we also want to make another object line that's just going to snap right onto this 4 inch diameter circle. So we're going to use these three things, we'll trim off a few things, and we'll make it a little bit cleaner and easier to see. We're going to select the offset command. And it doesn't matter what layer you're on, you can specify the offset at any time. Uh, we're going to make a 0.25 offset. And we're going to offset this line here. So it's going to the bottom half of the circle that we just finished creating. And now. We are going to uh, kind of zoom into this area here so we can see it a little better. And we're going to select the line command. We'll choose this intersection of our circle. And we will extend that all the way up to the next intersection here. So we're just kind of following the line. Right click and select enter. And now we're going to go through and trim and erase things. So, well, so your screen will end up looking like mine. So we're going to trim off just a few things here. I'm just checking to make sure I have everything trimmed that I want to have trimmed. I'm going to delete all of that. The only thing that I want is this rough shape right here. So as long as your screen looks like mine, you should be okay. And now we're going to use a new command we have not used before. This is called mirror. Mirror is located here. And it will take geometry that you have selected. It will mirror it across a certain line. And you have to specify the line. So we're going to select mirror. And uh, you know, let's just go and highlight from left to right. 
all of the things that are in here. If you go from right to left, it'll actually select all your construction lines as well. And we do not want to do that. So go from left to right, right mouse click to accept the selection. Now it asks to specify the first point of the mirror line. For the points of our mirror line, we are going to choose the horizontal line here. Any two points on this should be fine. Uh, we do not want to erase source objects, so we're just going to click enter. And there we have the first part of our camp.